to taste. And today we're going to make chocolate covered frozen bananas. So we've already melted some of our chocolate. We did this in the microwave, of course, in a microwave safe dish at 20 second intervals. And you have to make sure that, you know, it's cooling down, but you don't want it to cook. Now over here we have one cup of heavy cream. Oh, we lost our flame. And you want it to where it's almost boiling, but you don't want it to scald. So we're right at that point. And we're good to go in this. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we also have, this was one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the cream, the heavy whipping cream into the melted chocolate. A little bit at a time. You don't want to pour it all in. And it doesn't look like it's going to emulsify, but it will gradually come together. And we also have, for some toppings, chopped up some pretzels, and I've chopped up some pistachio nuts, and this is actually a ganache that we're making. Yeah, it does get a little messy, but that's okay. We used to get chocolate covered bananas when I was a kid and they were really good and I kind of missed them. So I thought I'd, we'd make some homemade ones. And it doesn't take too long. You just have to watch the milk so it doesn't scald on you. You do want it the, to the almost boiling point, they call it. Well, actually, the heavy cream. And as you can see, it's starting to get nice and glossy. Oh, wow, that chocolate smells really good. And you can use dark chocolate if you like, or milk chocolate. It all depends on what your flavor is. You can even mix and match. And we actually cut the bananas into quarters. And we're going to do it that way. And the trick to this is just keep on stirring. Keep on stirring. You don't want to whisk it because you don't want to aerate it. You just want to keep it stirring so it stays nice and glossy. Yeah, we're almost through. You could even put like, if your kids like cereal, you can crunch up some of their favorite cereal and coat the bananas with that for them. You could leave the bananas whole and pop in a popsicle stick, which is nice. Or you can even cut them smaller and make little frozen banana bites. Now this is nice and thin. You actually can cool this off and use it as a frosting, or you can chill it and make truffles. But we're just gonna make frozen bananas. Okay. We're gonna stick our little fork, we're just using a little olive fork. I'm just gonna roll it around. And it's gonna be a thin coating. You don't want it too thick where you can't bite into it. And I think we're gonna roll this one in some pretzels. You know, you get that salty and that sweet and chocolate. 
And then what you do is you pop them in the freezer at least about four hours to six hours so they're frozen solid. And we're going to do this one, pistachios. Oh, whoop, we lost it. And that's all there was to that. <laughs> we keep losing our bananas. Might be easier if it is on popsicle sticks. <laughs> and we'll do one more. You want your bananas room temperature? Don't freeze them first, because if you freeze them first, the chocolate won't stay. It'll just slip right off. Okay, well, that's it for the frozen bananas. Nice, simple, and easy. Something you can do with your kids. So, that's it for today, guys. Remember, life is good. See you next time on Two Taste.